Why hello YouTube, this is King David, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Minecraft server if you have a Linux VPS. Um, first off, you're going to need a couple of these programs. Uh, the first program you're going to need is PuTTY. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with PuTTY, PuTTY is just a SSH client that will connect to your VPS you just bought or you've had for a while. It has to be Linux, of course, or Ubuntu and Fedora. And there's one other, I can't think of what it is. But anyway, it will connect to it and it will just be completely command line so you can run all the commands you need for your to start your server up. Um, so, you know, you just press putty exe right here and it'll just press save. And uh, here, this is it on the desktop. You just click it. There's no install process or anything. Uh, another, the other program you're going to need is FileZilla and... You just press download, of course. FileZilla is a FTP server, not server, FTP client, so you can connect to your VPS and be able to uh, transfer files back and forth. And then one more thing, you're going to need Bucket. Uh, well, you don't actually need Bucket. You could just go to Minecraft.net, and this this is completely preferable, and go to Multiplayer, and, oh, actually, wrong place. What am I doing? Go back here. Doop doop do better do should have okay download and then Linux the other and it says Minecraft jar but you're gonna want bucket because it supports the mods and such and it's real nice to use so you're going to want to what is this get the alright if you want to play the most latest you're going to want the one that says MC 1.6.6 and all these things you just saw me get. I will have a link in the download on the video description, so don't worry. So download that, and you'll see that it will save. Its name will be this, right there. Well, I've already had it in my downloads and everything, and now I have moved it to my desktop right here. You need to rename it, so just right-click it, rename, and you just want it to be just this. So just delete, uh, backspace everything out of it. All right, so now step two. You're going to want to connect, get on PuTTY. And here's my SSH details that I got after I got this VPS. So you're going to want to put it in the IP address they give you. Press open. Now since I've already connected the server before, it will ask me, it will say something like security warning or something like that. Just press yes. You're going to want to press yes. That's because your server is not secure. Um, I, get, I don't know. But anyway, so then put your root password. And now a lot of people don't understand this. On PuTTY, you just need to copy, and then in order to paste, you simply just press the right mouse button. So just right click. Oh, thanks, man. You just right click, and you press enter. Oh, look, we're in. Yay. All right, so once you're into PuTTY, and all these commands will be in the description, of course. Once you're in PuTTY, you're just going to want, run, want to run a couple of commands. Um, the first one you're going to want to run is yum install screen now what screen is is basically whenever you run a program and you have like you turn oh come on man and basically every time you run a program it stays open on Linux and it doesn't close it for instance if I if I were to start up a Minecraft server right now and then I close out a putty it would stop in Minecraft server so what screen does it enables it to keep running and you know you exit out of it so, now that I already installed screen prior to this video. So, to me, it says already installed, but to you, it will ask you something, and it will say, would you like to download, and then just press Y, and then enter. The second thing you will need is you will need to do yum install java. Once again, it's going to tell me I already have it installed. Oh, or not. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys now get to see what it looks like. So it runs through all these processes, and like I said for the last one, it says total download. Just type Y. Wait for it to run through everything. Uh, this The speed of this really just varies for everyone depending on their uh, connection on their VPS. So it's pretty simple to run a Minecraft server. You just got to know a couple commands. Um, yeah, so let's wait for this to run through. You know what? While this is running through, I'll show you guys another thing you'll need. Let me just drag this right over here. 
This will also be in the download description. I mean, oh, I keep saying download description, video description. Basically, this is SH script, and SH is a Linux executable, just in case you didn't know. And what this SH script is, when you type in the command I will show you, it will turn on your Minecraft server with your specified RAM. Now, the amount of RAM you put here, you just want that to be the amount of RAM your server has. So, the one I have, I just went and made myself a 512 megabyte RAM server. But, for instance, if you have 1 gig, 2 gigs, 5 gigs, blah 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 gigs, it doesn't really matter. For for megabytes, you just put that M on the end. And then, for instance, if I were to have a 1 gig server, you put 1G right there. Um, and then this will say my uh, craftbucket.jar. Now, for instance, if you didn't use craftbucket, and you used the one from Minecraft, you just do Minecraft dot jar you, you can just change that to whatever whatever jar you downloaded so we're gonna exit out of this oh yeah, by the way Java right here it just tells it to run it with Java and then XM is the virtual machine anyway just thought I would add that little bit okay so now our Java is done da being downloaded we are now done with putty for now but don't exit out of it just minimize it now we will need to go into FileZilla like I said you you needed to download uh, so once you're done installing FileZilla, you'll be presented with this screen. You need to go up to the top left and press open the site manager. Now I already have all my information in, but I'm going to redo it just to show you guys. So I'm going to press delete, because I don't need that, and I'm going to press new site. I'm going to name it test server. Alright, so for the host, you need to go to your uh, VPS settings, take your IP address, copy, paste, and then for protocol, you're you have to, have to, have to change it to SFTP. Login type normal. And you're going to want to copy your root password. And once again, this is another one of those things you have to, have to, have to put the user as root. And then, once you're done, you can either press OK, and then you can choose it from the drop down list, or from this window, you can just press connect. Now, since, once again, I already connected to this server, it already has my stuff. Let me delete this, I don't need that it already has my stuff but if this was my first time it would say do you want to accept the key S press yes and I preferably pick always trust so once again this has already been done you will need to take your craft bucket dot jar wherever it is on your computer and you simply just drag it right over so you drag it right over and just leave it and then basically it will go queued files and it will start to transfer. This mine's already there, it's asking to overwrite, but I don't want to overwrite because my upload speed's pretty bad. Then you take your Minecraft SH you have with the edited files. And by the way, when you go to edit it, you don't have to actually edit with Notepad. I could just um, open it with regular old Notepad. It looks just like that. But uh, I don't really like that. Hmm. But anyway, I like Notepad. It's a great program. So then you need to do the same thing with your Minecraft.sh and just upload it. So I'm going to leave this right here just to show you guys. You're going to go back into your putty and you're going to do this command which will be in the description of course. You just type, oh wait, you need to do this. SHMOD777 Minecraft.sh Now what that does is it allows that SH script to be executable, readable, and writable. If you want to just edit that file on the run, this is just a quick add-on, you know, not everyone likes this kind of stuff. But if you just want to, you know, edit that on the run, you know, you just don't feel like doing much, just press nano minecraft.sh and look at that. You can edit it just like you're on your computer. And then you can press control X to exit out of that. So now we want to start our server. Now this is so simple. All you have to do is you just press screen. No, you don't press it. You just type screen sh minecraft dot sh you press enter and look at this it just loads right up your map look at that so wait for it to obviously go through all of its pre preparation and uh... once it's done i'll show you what you can do 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 that ba do ba ba do oh this is what i want to show you guys so you this is how you know it's working you press well it's working if you see that but if i press refresh look at that we have world world nether ops.txt you know you got it all right now it's preparing the nether ooh the nether ah on multiplayer what <laughs> do 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 if you guys didn't know if you're just watching this because you searched it I guess I make let's play videos also so go check them out 
I'll put a little quick quickie uh, little box on the screen when I'm saying this while we wait for it to prepare spawn area oh preparing the spawn okay so now we're done you know what now here's something you might want to do as OP King David D and look at that it says OP and King David D now to exit out of this screen now this is the reason why we used quote unquote screen as the command it allows us to have this running but you can press you can uh, just completely exit out of it because it doesn't even matter it's just a screen so we got it all running now and you just press exit okay so now we have our minecraft server all good to go you know press refresh the plugins is there if you got any plugins you just drag them right in you have restart your server and you're good to go so now the end result everyone wants let's take that IP and let's connect to it on minecraft and you know send it all around to your friends do do ba do. Let's see if it works. Well, look at that. It totally works. Oh, hey, look, it's my Minecraft server. Oh, man, no way. You totally did that all command line. You didn't use MC Dash or MC Miami. No way, man. Well, this concludes this video. My name is King David, and this was just my tutorial. Soon to come is a tutorial on how to install MC My Admin, how to install MySQL and PHP My Admin. Thanks for watching guys, uh, I really enjoyed making this video.